Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, everybody. Whoa. And then I, when I saw 60 Minutes, when I saw 60 Minutes last night, um, I, see, I, I see Romney, he's thinking about, Romney and Obama, all right? Romney, he was thinking about creating small government, and yeah, everything is, is about, and anything else is job switching. But he was, he has his plan for, caught up for, you know, cheap Medicare and all that stuff, but, you know, he has his Medicare plan. <clears throat> Medicare, Medicaid, you know. And then, and then, one of the brightest ideas is, oh, Obama's idea, you know, he has more like a, much of an intellectual seeing things way ahead, and what are creating jobs right away? <clears throat> Mm -mm. Yeah, creating jobs for real. Well, after that, when they both candidates are like, one's talking to the other one, one, the one's talking to Romney, and the other one's talking, and, and then they, and then the that guy's talking to the other, you know, to the president. So, what's it? What is this to improve the economy? Well, we have. So much debt with China. I mean, so much debt with China that I think their economy, their economy is up in the rise. And then when you when you have an economy in the rise, then it's not going to be that cheap to make stuff in China. I mean, there's a solution to all the problems. Well, the solution is. Um, I know, I know it could mean it, but there's one thing I could agree. I do agree, lifting the embargo in Cuba right now, with the Castro regime and everything. So I, I bet that American companies going to Cuba, but I think uh, one thing I don't want to do, uh, say for if they go to Cuba is having a debt with Cuba. So, what I'm, what I'm saying about this presidency, or what is this? Things gotta change. Things gotta change for the good reason. I'm not saying lifting the embargo in Cuba to send American jobs to Cuba. No. Well, more of a reason there's, there's like free trade agreements that I wouldn't agree with. Like, for example, free trade with South Korea. Free trade with South Korea might does is like, you know, they might just bring a product, a product down and, yeah, a certain product down. You know, like let's say, it will like send like Korean-made cars. All right, uh, Hyundai and Kia have factories here, but Chevrolet, uh, but General Motors have a factory in Korea. But I don't know what it is. What's the problem with it? is that? The, the thing is with South, South Korea and this free trade agreement was once you per, once they send out bikes or motorcycles they would help out put the Harley Davidson company goes to chapter 13 13 well is this is this is something it is you know is it helping another company go bankrupt you know the motorcycle industry will go up, go and go flushing down the toilet. Well, these where they, I where they bring their own motorcycles, and you know then then Milwaukee, Milwaukee go bankrupt. In other words, this, the the free trade with South Korea will make Milwaukee go bankrupt. That's right, gonna make Milwaukee go bankrupt. Then Colombia. Alright, coffee's great. Yeah, I know. You know what is best coffee? Colombian coffee. Flowers from Colombia. What about bananas and other products? Well, what about, you know, your Levi jeans? What are your clothes? Oh yeah, they're, they're going to be like, same quality as made in the USA, you know. Like, we all know that made in the USA is uh, 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 clothes. 
make great clothes, right? So, what are they gonna do? Is if some company will fool us to put made in the USA label and sell it here in America, but they bring it from Colombia. Yeah, and then, and then this is what it is. So it's, it's one thing is true: Colombian clothes quality has the same equal quality. Like they make the best. Same quality or better than our American made clothes. Well that will have well, that will happen like oh yeah it's even Ralph Lohr might have to think oh right yeah can't can't do a decision alright South America here we go send send the uniforms to be manufactured in Colombia. Well the other hand is Free trade. If, they, if, if there's one thing to create more American jobs, one thing to create more American jobs is that when whoever you vote in could be Obama, could be Romney. I just want. There's one thing they want to promise all. You know, the, it, one. I'm not gonna tell you the name, but one guy, one candidate. If this guy wins. You know, I'm not gonna tell names, but th this other guy wins. Then, then the new president will make lift embargo in Cuba. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the thing I wanted to do. But free trade with Cuba will mean, you know, American jobs suck all the way to Cuba. Cuba will be the job killer of Amer of, of America. Yeah, it, Cuba's gonna kill American jobs. But one thing for sure one thing for sure to create jobs and have less dependent on foreign products it is that I told you in my other videos about JAFTA JAFTA or you know JAFTA means Japan Free Trade Agreement JAFTA in one thing is it helps create jobs in America so we could be an export economy you know, there is a, it's a tough decision, but with but with to, but with giving them good offers for these Japanese companies to come here. Yeah, we already have uh, Japanese auto companies, but other companies. You know, we could tell them, okay, we have the we offer the best prices at the at the best rates, so they could invest in the in in the U.S. and put factories in the U.S. So. So it will be, so it will be nice to see a Japanese company making other products for the for the U.S. and American companies. Well, like like for example, like Ford might have to make those their own super, you know, their own supercar in Japan for the Japanese consumers, or an export. This is just an exclusive car, the T-Bird. Right, they'll call it the Veyron Killer. You know, reopen the, reopen the, um, the Wixom assembly plant to send to make to make products for us and to export over there. What they have to do is that these companies, these American companies, especially American auto companies, when they manufactured here with the with JAFTA, that means they need to meet the quality standards to export to Japan and that what it is you know that the, the starting with Ford that's the first one to have to do with it because they're making good cars and they're making progress but they have to do it JM and Chrysler they have to do the same thing make cars in here to meet their standards and that means if we could work if we could do better things besides tougher you know, besides being tougher in unions, like, 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 let's say, let the unions be tough on the workers, on how they, on how they do it, and how they need the unions to meet the requirements to have the quality standards that Jap that Japanese customers need. Or, like with JAFTA, it is everything's possible. We make like like with JAFTA, it's is everything will be in reverse. Well, JAFTA would help out, send out, make American products. Anything from 
shoes to whatever you could from toys to whatever you might call it but you know it's, it's like saying this like if we could if, if we could offer the best prices to these to these companies and we could make stuff and sell it at the better price too so we could beat their companies especially in especially in the auto industry then I'll tell you I'll tell you about it when you vote vote for whoever but if you want American jobs well JAFTA will help out rebuild an infrastructure for the a bullet train for high speed rail for America by using Japan's technology or we build our own trains our own tracks our own stuff right so this is what it is this is what it is when you vote or when you see this video I'm I could tell you about it tell whoever it is Matt could be could be Romney could be Obama about JAFTA JAFTA is the only solution to the problem of creating American jobs that means with JAFTA you it with JAFTA products sold in Japan will, will, will have more made in the USA labels than the made in Japan label why because it will give us the strength to be an export economy like China has done to us well it is time for us to create this job to have your Canon camera made in America to have your Nikon camera made in America to buy any single crack from the US based company we could have stuff made in Japan from an American company but also definitely it's what you buy something from a Japanese company it says made in the USA so that's what JAFTA is and don't forget or don't forget whoever whoever leads an office tell about JAFTA tell about I want JAFTA I want more jobs I want a speech train infrastructure without JAFTA there is no bullet trains in America with JAFTA you have bullet trains thank you very much and God bless America